Kenny, this stuff is all voluntary, right? Um, why are you here? <laughs> I mean, you know, a lot of guys are here. You, you didn't have to be uh, here. I mean, I guess you could just say that's how much it means to me, you know, um, especially just coming off the last season. Just trying to, and I feel like the whole team, to be honest, just trying to um, start off on a good note. I, you know, I feel like, you know, everyone should definitely be here. Um, and as of right now, I mean, there's a lot of energy going around. I think people are actually excited. Um, also think pe people are actually ready to get back in the building. Because, I mean, after coming off of last year, it just leaves a, a bad taste in your mouth that you want to get out. So I know for me, at least, um, you know, I, I was ready to get started. Are you, dis are you disappointed that Kadarius isn't here? You said everybody should be here. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know, he had, I haven't talked to him in a while, but um, I'm pretty sure, you know, he has something going on. Um, you know, everything, every, everything will work out. You know, um, I'm pretty sure he's probably getting into his book. I'm pretty sure he's talked to coaches and everything. So, you know, um, it's, it's my job and the rest of the receivers and the receiver coach to get him on track. So Brian actually said he can't get the playbook until he shows up. Obviously, it's a new uh, offense. Well, I guess that, you know, I don't know nothing about that then. Right, so. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean. I mean you should probably be here. I mean, you, you, you know, you said the guy should be here. I mean, he's coming off of a tough rookie season. So how do you? kind of reconcile all that? With the um, you know, just being one of the older guys in the room. And like I said, I haven't talked to him. Um, you know, I'm trying to get everything myself in order as far as just learn the playbook. So a lot been on my play a little bit. But, you know, I'm pretty sure, you know, if I talk to Shep and we kind of, you know, holler at him a little bit, um, you know, I feel like, you know, he'll definitely listen to us. Kenny, do you feel this offense is going to be geared towards you a lot more this season? Obviously, you know, you're coming off a year, no, no touchdowns and all that. You get, I know the whole offense, the playbook is not in yet, but do you feel they're going to be giving a lot towards you? Um, as of right now, you know, we, we put in a bunch of plays. Um, that's very exciting. A lot of plays, you know, that can trick a, trick a defense. You know, a lot of guys moving around. But it's only one ball at the end of the day, you know. Um, we got three. We got two six. We got new guys that's coming in. So, you know, only thing I can do is come out here every day on the practice field and, you know, put good stuff on tape. And then, you know, translate to the games. How Stephon Diggs was utilized? Does that raise the excitement level for how you could be used? Definitely. You know, um, I would say, you know, we're two different players a little bit. You know, his skill set is a little bit different from mine, but for sure, um, Daves and Kafka, you know, those, those are two good guys that have been from high powered offenses. Um, I'm excited, man. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff that's going in. You know, they're putting a lot of stuff on my plate, you know, and I'm just each and every day putting, you know, that trust in them, and they're going to do the same with me. We just got to make things happen. Saquon, Kenny. <laughs> Sorry. What was your reaction to the last coaching staff getting fired? Uh, well, I mean, that, that really wasn't my first time, you know, going through that. Um, I guess you could say it was pretty surprising. There was a lot of stuff going on in the media, but, you know, hey, it, you know, I guess, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm just focused on this year. Kenny, how would you describe the stamp that Dabes and Joe Shane have put on this programs, you know, since in the short period of time since they've been here? Um, to be honest, as of right now, and I could for sure just speak as far as Dave's, he's just coming in with a lot of energy. Um, he's coming in pretty much showing us that, you know, this is not going to be the same um, Giants. This isn't last year. You know, he put his own he put his own twist on things, a lot of things. And um, like I said, there's a lot of energy going, you know, in the building. People are staying longer. Um, and this, I feel like it, we're, we're more together uh, in so little time. Kenny, so how, I'm excited. I'm sorry. Kenny, how driven are you to, to turn the page to prove to your team and the fans that you were well worth the investment that this team made in you? Uh, very driven. You know, just coming in early, staying, staying late after practice, doing stuff with DJ. This is me and DJ's first time really to actually get a, a legit offseason going on. Me coming in free agency, you know, I had a lot of moving parts going around, um, the COVID and everything. We didn't go through OTAs. So, I feel like, you know, this piece right here going through OTAs, you know, it should be very good. Have you and Daniel gotten together outside of here? Like, not all now, soon? Uh, Actually, we didn't since we had um, OTAs. You know, after a while, you still got to, you know, let go a little bit and enjoy the offseason. But, you know, we both came back around the same time and we've, you know, been linking up ever since. Can you, can you, can you, is, there a, um, is there a different vibe in here at all? You know, I mean, um, there was a, the last coaching staff was very intense. You know, um, is, is this vibe different? Uh, I, I would say so. Um, I wouldn't say it's chill, but at the same time, I mean, we're going to work. But it, it, it's, it's a little bit more relaxed, which, which, is, which is good. But at the same time, you know, Coach Dave expects you to get the work done. 
Um, and I think that's what everybody like. You know, yeah, we can joke around all day long, but once we step on the football field, get in those meeting rooms, you know, it's, it's a time and place for everything. And I think everybody kind of got that memo. And once we're in the meeting rooms on the practice field, you know, the, you kind of flip that switch. But off the field, it's it's. It's, Off the field, you know, what we what we do in the building, you know, that I'm going to keep that between us. But like I said, there's a lot of good energy going around. Kenny, when you came in here last year, Saquon was coming off the, the knee injury and there was a lot of questions, when's he going to practice? Do you see a different Saquon this year? I mean, to be honest, towards the end of last season, um, you know, you start seeing that same 2-6. Um, as of right now, you know, he's healthy. He had a full off season to get, every, get his body right. Um, I'm excited. Like, like I was excited for him last year. I'm, I'm even more excited this year. Yeah, you did you have to go through off of last year for yourself the way the year ended? S numbers, numbers. Did you have to after last year? Did you have to sit down for yourself and kind of <coughs> assess maybe what went wrong uh, and how you were going to attack this year any differently? Or um, what, did you find out, figure out why things didn't go the way you anticipated? To be honest, I kind of had it. A little bit towards like when you had those last few games, and you know we weren't making the playoffs. You know it was, it was a lot of days I thought about you know what what's going wrong or what could I do better. You know a lot of a lot go through your mind, but once the season ended, I kind of flushed it, and then once we got a whole new you know coaching staff and everything, I definitely kind of just flushed it and focused on you know let's start something new, let's turn the page, and you know let's build on now. You kind of alluded to uh, getting more time with Daniel. And then there's like the injury factor, which, which can always go either way. So why do you think this year will be better and more productive for you than last year was? Um, first off, you know, it's, it's early. So I'm not going to say this year, this year is definitely going to be better for me. Um, I, that's just my mindset. I'm very confident, first of all. I mean, that's kind and, of uh, hard to say it's definitely, you know, you didn't really do a lot last year. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I'm saying like, you don't think it'll be better, definitely, or sorry? I mean, like I said, the year just What's started. So for sure, for sure, I want the year to be better. Let okay. me start off by saying Sorry, that. Um, yeah. Um, last year, you know, it was last year. Like I said, I'm just going to focus on this year and build each day. Kenny, can you see in, uh, what, what you see in the offense already in the playbook? That it's going to be more action, more motion, more ability to get guys going, and maybe you know, instead of just I'm lining up here and this is what I'm doing. Can you sense some of that already? Oh uh, yeah. Um, like I said, Kafka and Dave do a great job of just moving guys around. And, you know, I could be at the number three spot, number two spot, or even Say can be as a receiver. Shep could be in the backfield. It's, it's, it's a lot of little nuances, you know, that can get, you know, our guys open. Uh, Dable, Dable said at the, at the owners' meetings that he went back and watched some of your tape from when you had, like, your Pro Bowl year with the Lions and stuff like that. Is that kind of exciting to hear that he's going back and finding, you know, where you've succeeded in the past so we can kind of um, incorporate that? Definitely, you know, definitely, you know, with him trying to figure out what I'm good at, you know, that's a great sign. So, you know, hopefully we get everything done. Kenny, have you had discussions with him? Has he invited you to sit down and say, hey, Kenny, what do you like to do and how can I help you be the best you can be? Um, a, a, a little bit, but more so, you know, just getting to know one another. You know, um, I, came, I came in the building once all the coaching staff got here and got settled down. And it was more so just getting, one, getting to know one another, not talking too much ball. You know, um, talking about the family, talking about the transition. And then once we start talking about ball and everything, you know, we kind of, you know, throw stuff off each other. And it, and it, and it really doesn't even d just be me. He can even be talking to me, Shep, Say, and Daniel. So, I mean, I think that that's what's good about everything. So everybody be on the same page. So he would talk to the, the, the bunch of you in a group is what you're saying? I mean, not behind closed doors. It could still be in front of everybody. Uh, it's really no secret. What did you learn about him as a guy? Uh, I'm still I'm still learning, but as of right now, um, a cool, laid-back guy, um, and just want to put his players in the best position. Kenny, the Buffalo offense was so creative under Brian Dayball. Did you either go back and look at, at some of that, or, or do you have optimism based on what he was able to do with that personnel that it can translate here uh, as well? Oh uh, yeah, I did. Um, and those those guys in Buffalo had some pretty good pieces, and I, I feel like so do we. And I think that's the most exciting part, you know. Um, those guys over there, you know, Diggs, I mean, had a whole bunch of balls caught. You know what I mean? Um, so you can definitely tell, you know, he put his guys in the great positions to succeed. Last one. Kenny, when a team is, you guys are trying to win this year, but you guys are in build mode for the future. So as a player, how do, how do you approach that? Do you think that you guys can make noise this year while you still build for the long term? 
Uh, it's, it's, it's still early on. I mean, this is only, what, day two of being just on the field. Um, we still got to, you know, fi find what our offense and what our defense can be. We haven't even gotten to training camp. Um, but as of, as of right now, like I said, a lot of people out there, you know, flying around, you know, and just having fun with it. I think that's the most important thing. People are ready to get back, you know, to work.